Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the thin born super thin aramid fiber case here for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, I do have the box that it comes in over here. You can see we've got some thin born branding up there in the front, aramid fiber design all the way around, and it opens up just like this. And inside, of course, we do get the case itself, but not only that, we also get some extra adhesive strips because yes, this uh, case right here does have adhesive strips in a side of the case as you can see right there just to keep it more secure on your galaxy z fold 6 itself especially for that front part you're really going to want to use that adhesive now the reason they include extra adhesive strips is because you know sometimes we do take the case off to use our phone naked or maybe use another case so we do have those extra strips there if you do find the adhesive on the case right here just to start getting a bit weaker you can just go ahead and apply some new strips now i do got to say that i have been using this for the past few days now my Galaxy Z Fold 6, and this has to be my favorite at the moment, my favorite super thin aramid fiber case that you can use on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, because I will be honest, Yes, I do love the Pitaka case. I love the Banks case. I've been using those cases as well. But the one thing that I find this case has over those cases is that we have some front protection here for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Those cases do not offer that. Now, yes, I have kind of gotten used to using it without that front protection, but it's always nice to know that we actually do get some extra front protection for our Galaxy Z Fold 6. But the case, the extra adhesive strips are not all that come in the box right here. We also get a tempered glass screen protector, as you can see, I am using right there. And there's no you know, special rig or anything to apply the screen protector to the device. You basically just gotta line it up yourself. For me personally, I did throw on the front part of this case on the device itself to kind of you know line up the screen protector. I did get a little bit of dust under there. I wasn't in a truly dust-free environment, so I do have a little air bubble up there, but I mean, this screen protector that comes with uh, you know this case right here, it's great. And honestly, it doesn't feel like you're using a tempered glass screen protector on your device. Responsiveness is well, and it seems to be holding up just fine, and it looks really good on here as well. But let's go ahead and throw the case on the device. So of course, First, we get this top piece right here, and it does have a little bit of flex to it. As you can see there, of course, it is a super thin case, and this case is not made to give your device that major, major protection. Just, you know, some light drop protection to protect your device from uh, scratching. It's kind of like a reusable skin, as I always say. So this is how that front piece is going to fit on, as you can see there. And then, of course, we do have the back piece right here. Now, this does have MagSafe compatibility, so that's always a nice. And yes, of course, it is a wireless charging and reverse wireless charging compatible. And then we'll just slap it on the device just like that. And look at how good this looks on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 right here. We are getting some protection for the cameras there. Look at that. We get a good cutout right there, a nice deep cutout for those camera lenses. So if you do want to set your phone down on a flat surface, slide it around, or even if you happen to accidentally drop it on a flat surface, it's giving it just enough lift to protect those cameras right there in the back. Look at that, and that flash as well. We do have clear openings for the uh, power button and the volume rocker, so it does make it easy to find, but even though it is open, as you can see, it is recessed, so it kind of goes down a bit and it still got a little it still has a little bit of lift there on the sides so if you do happen to accidentally drop it on its side it will not touch those volume rockers and of course the power button is pretty much flush with the side of the device itself now of course nothing on the other end but when we come over here to the hinge there is no hinge protection which you know some people might like some people might not like it is there once you do open up the device itself that hinge of course is protected but once you close it there is no hinge protection so i do have to go ahead and mention that but honestly the case feels really good on this device of course it's definitely not adding too much bulk to your samsung galaxy z fold 6 like i said super thin case it's not meant to give your device super super heavy drop protection it's just supposed to protect it from light falls it's supposed to protect it from scratches and you know, just add you know a little bit more protection to your device. And it's for those who don't really like to carry around bulky devices in their pocket. Because I mean, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 right here, yes, it's already kind of a thick device, but I mean, it is a foldable device. So for a foldable device, it's actually pretty thin. It's actually very thin, but of course, it's not going to be as thin as something like, let me see, let me bring over here my, I got my OnePlus 12 over here to the side of me just to compare. Of course, it's still a little bit thicker than something like, you know, the OnePlus 12 right there. 
but if you don't want to add extra bulk to your device, this could be a great case to go with. And if you're someone who doesn't drop your phone all the time, if you're usually pretty careful with your device, then hey, this can pretty much be a good choice to go with as well because you don't need all that bulk on your device and you just need the minimal protection that you can get and just adding some cool style to your Galaxy Z Fold 6. Got a little bit of thin boring branding there at the bottom. We do have precise cutouts at the bottom here for the speaker, microphone, and the charging port. Got a nice cutout up top for all of the microphones and the speaker as well. And then of course in the front, we are getting protection, not only because of that screen protector that comes with this case right here, if you decide not to use it, we're still getting a little lip all the way around the screen. So you're getting a little bit of lift there. So you are able to set your phone down on a flat surface like that, slide it around if you would like to, or maybe even have a light fall and still not get any, or it should give it enough lift so that display is not touching any flat surface. As you can see, they're looking at the part that doesn't have the screen protector on it. It's got a pretty nice little lift right there. But what do you guys think? The thin born air made a fiber case, super thin here, feels great on the device. Like I said, not adding too much bulk and it does make it a bit easier to open the device as well. And it does, if you have oily hands, it will attract a little bit of fingerprints. But as you can see there, I mean, I've been touching it this whole time and it's still looking pretty clean there. Now, when it comes to the inside display, when the phone is open, as you can see, it's pretty much flush with the inside. I mean, if you look over to that left edge right there, we get like a tiny bit of lift. But if you come over to the right edge, as you can see on the bottom, it looks like it's a little bit more flush, but over there on the side, it does look like there's a little bit of lift. If we go to the top, it's pretty much flush. So it looks like only on the sides, we get like a tiny, tiny bit of lift so i mean we can probably set this face down very lightly and we'll get a little bit of lift but either way i would not recommend doing that <laughs> because this is a super thin case but you know i know a lot of people are going to wonder okay what about that inside display so i did have to go in ahead and mention that like i said the lift is only going to be pretty much on the sides and not really the bottom or the top maybe a tiny bit but i mean for the most part it's pretty much flush with that inside display. So the Thinborn Airmid Fiber Case, I think it's a pretty good deal. You're getting the case with extra adhesive strips and that tempered glass screen protector right here, which is pretty high quality. Like I said, you can't even tell that it's on the device and it fits good. The phone responds very well with this tempered glass screen protector on it. But what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comment sections below. Again, this is the Thinborn Aramid Fiber Case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. If you do find yourself interested in this case, I'll make sure I have a link down in the description below so you can check one out for yourself. But thank you so very much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.